So since this is the test box for the cat toy box, we figured it would be cool if we could put cats looking at, say, for example, a ball. In which case, that's the Vesica Pisces Sacred Geometry Ball. But still, it's kind of like a ball. So before I try and put this on the actual box, which now has a bottom, before I do that, I want to try and put it on the small box uh, as a test to just make sure this is going to work. The plan is to try and put this on here in black. We'll see how visible it ends up being. So my thought for this is probably take a, uh, let's see, probably take this point and carefully go around and put pressure point holes through the paper into the wood, take the paper off, and then with, you know, probably draw on it with a pencil to get the outline a little bit better. And then take the Dremel with a sanding, the little diamond sanding piece, and just do a very shallow outline of all the places we want dark. And then take the soldering iron with the burning tip that I've been using and just carefully trace around that to burn in the little hollow from the sanding. And I figured this is better to do this now because now I can take this off and work on a flat piece versus on a box that I have to then move around. So if I do it on a flat piece, that should be a little bit easier. So I figured I'd do a quick video description on the front of the box that I'm making. I decided to try and put some cats and one of those sacred geometry uh, spheres on it. And initially I started with this, well, this pointy stick. But as you notice, every time I do it, my hand starts up higher and then it goes down and down and down and down. And eventually I got fed up with that. And it's like, yeah, that's not going to work. So I got that knife, carving knife out, one of the Japanese uh, knives. And that works so much better. I was still going up and down versus cutting everything. But the slices, I was able to just control. And because of the shape of the carving knife, that went so much better. So here I'm just doing the outline of all this first for all the pieces and some spots are easier than others and it's a challenge for sure with small details this is much easier on larger details for small details it's really a pain to do but then again everything like this when you're doing with small details is a challenge so kept going kept going finally got most all of the pieces done and then go back through with pencil and just highlight in following the lines. And I can see it, but, you know, it doesn't show up on camera. But I can't draw this good freehand, uh, at least and follow something that's drawn like that. So, yeah, you can see that I was going that way. And so then the pencil drawing's done. And then here, the next step, I need the, my magnifier stand. So I got that in place so I could sit in the chair and do this. And I got one of the little round diamond bits on my um, Dremel type tool. It's not a Dremel, it's the, one of the actual motors with the long thing. It works better than Dremel, but yeah. Initially I tried a skinny bit, that didn't work, and then here I switched to the round bit, and that ends up working much better. And basically it's just doing, actually there's where I changed it. Uh, it, it, it does a groove, because the goal for this that I was going to try was uh, to wood burn it and wood burning well wood burning with a soldering iron tip not an actual wood burner because I don't have the wood burner but I do have a soldering iron tip and there you can see it there so just go along again follow the diagrams it's not as easy to adjust the temperature obviously because it's a you know it's one of the cheap soldering irons versus the kind that you can set the temperature so you have to just wait a little bit to make sure the tip gets hot again once you've burned some wood otherwise it doesn't make as dark it does okay for the bigger details the smaller details again it doesn't do as well i probably should have used a knife edge piece versus a long rounded tip uh, the knife edge would have had a smaller blade and it would have done this fine details a little bit better but that seemed to work Sand it up a little bit. It kind of looks like a cat. And here, that's what the box looks like all glued up. So very cool.